now the address to, Muhammad, to the people who believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is also one of the very important and permanently relevant ayah of the Quran. وَقَاتِلُوهُمْ حَتَّى لَا تَكُونَ فِتْنَةٌ وَيَكُونَ الدِّينُ كُلُّهُ لِلَّهِ Oh Muslims, now that the final phase of the revolutionary struggle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has started. This is the beginning, as you call it, this is the beginning of the end. This is the final phase of the struggle. Dawa, number one. Training the people, purifying their souls. Number two, organizing them into a party. Hezbollah, number three. Passive resistance. Taking all persecution without any retaliation. For 12 long years, these four things were going on, going on, going on, going on. Calling, preaching, whosoever accepted came to the fold of Islam. Purification of their souls. Yazakihim. Organizing them into a party. Disciplined. Fasmahu atiyu. Bayana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ala sam'i wa ta'ah. We he pledged ourselves to the Prophet of Allah. That we shall listen and obey. Ala sam'i wa ta'ah. Fil usri wal yusri wal manshati wal makrahi. Wa ala asaratin alayna. So all these things you know. And then, no retaliation for 12 long years. These four things that Lama Iqbal has added together into one, you know, one sentence of his couplet. Ba nashay darveshi dar saadu dama dam zan. This is all darveshi. People calling you names or you are not replying, you are praying for them. People throwing stones on you, you are presenting Flowers to them. This is Darveshi. No retaliation. Dawa. Dawa, Tarbiya, Tanzim, and Sabr. Take everything with patience, without any retaliation. Ismiru, have patience. Ismiru yara yasir, fa'inna ma'idakumul jannah. But now the fifth stage. The active resistance and now the sixth and the final, the armed conflict has begun. Now it must continue. Till that time that all persecution finishes up. And the deen, the system, it should become totally for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No division of the system. Alladina farraku dinahum. We have read that ayah. The way system is one. The whole life, all aspects of human life, collective as well as, as well as individual, should come under Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are two things. Hatta la takuna fitnatun. Whenever you are a truly believing mu'min, he is in the environment and circumstances where the deen of Allah is not established. So he finds difficulty to practice the deen. The environment is not, you know, cooperating with him. And this is fitna. This is trial. You can't practice your deen. You can say prayers. But you can't establish the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can't chop off the hands of the thieves. Can you? That means you are not enforcing the deen of Allah. You are acting upon the deen of Allah only partially. So these two things, persecution should come to an end. Number one, a Muslim should be able to have his deen as a whole, organic whole, not a part of it. And this whole deen should become under Allah, his command, his sovereignty, kingdom of heaven on earth. To establish that kingdom of Allah on earth, the rule of Allah on earth, or according to the biblical terminology, kingdom of heaven on earth. Now this phase, final phase of armed conflict has started and it should continue. The final goal is that the deen of Allah be established in totality. And if they stop, 
if they don't resist they desist from opposing so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is seeing what they are doing it means now you also stop if the deen is has become dominant well if they want to live as christians or jews they can live but the deen will be dominant dominant deen will be of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what happened you know 50 years back in the indian subcontinent the deen belonged to whom the britishers whose law was enforced who were the rulers so deen was for them and for us was only a freedom you can pray go to the mosques you can keep fast during ramadan but the law will be british law will you be governed by sword or by pen do you remember this world so what was the deen deen was of britishers only religion we could practice in the limited sphere you can have anything as beliefs your dogma your modes of worship you can have them that is why you know allah allah ma iqbal in a very sarcastic andaaz sarcastic style he said mulla ko jo hai hind mein sajde ki ijazat nada ye samajhta hai ki islam hai azad because mulla is free to pray to allah go to mosque say the azan he thinks mistakenly that islam is azad islam is not azad islam is in chains islam is dominated by the britishers the real domination is for the britishers in the same way everywhere sovereignty belongs to the masses the majority will decide the rule whatever they decide that will be the law of the land so it's not the rule of allah nowhere in muslim world also except a few exceptions i don't want to go into detail anyhow this is the goal set for the muslim ummah for all times to come but it is essential and that is going to be the subject of my talk tomorrow inshallah after zohr this you know qital which is the final stage it comes you know after some prerequisites have been fulfilled without fulfilling those prerequisites if you go to war you are fool and this point actually is most misunderstood by the muslims of today what are those prerequisites what was the basic methodology of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so today even if there will be a movement a struggle in the footsteps of the struggle of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam first of all you have to pass through those four stages dawa tazkiya and tarbiya then tanzeem then passive resistance active resistance and then if there is you know field and if there is possibility and feasibility go to war or if the, it is not feasible what is the alternative this i am going to discuss tomorrow inshallah after zohr anyhow this is the goal set for the muslim ummah this was not only for the sahaba for the days of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as i told you these are a universal and eternal principles of islam if the deen of allah is not established is its fitna it is rebellion against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this world belongs to him this earth belongs to him he is the rightful ruler whosoever is ruling is in revolt against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and whosoever is faithful to allah he must fight him out and if he doesn't he is not sincere with allah he is not faithful with allah but how to fight out what is the methodology that is a different thing but this must be understood that this is the goal islam is not a religion in the common sense of the of the word it's a deen it's a whole system of life and a system of life is that which is established established actually not which you can read in the books or you can only profess through your tongue this ayah actually appears first in surah al-baqarah here one word has been added just remember 
in the 24th section of surah al-baqarah wa qatiluhum hatta la takuna fitnatan wa yakuna deenu lillah here it has been intensified more qatiluhum hatta la takuna fitnatan wa yakuna deenu kulluhu lillah no exception even if one aspect of human life is outside the deen of allah this is not the total establishment of the deen of allah our religion islam is not only a private affair of the individuals it's a total system kulluhu as one whole organic whole the whole system the total politico socio economic system that has to be governed by the laws of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that is the goal and this should be the goal of every truly believing muslim wa in tawallahu fa'lamu anna allah ba'ulakum ni'ma al-mawla wa ni'ma al-nasir and if they turn away then you o muslims rest assured be it known to you allah is your friend allah is your supporter don't fear them wa ni'ma ni'ma al-mawla wa ni'ma al-nasir how an excellent protector and how excellent a helper he is